This is my kayak. It weighs 85 pounds. It's 16 feet long. It's just too much for me to drag up on top of the car anymore. And I looked all over YouTube and couldn't find anything that really suited my uh, purposes. So I did what I had to do. I invented the best kayak loader on YouTube. This is what it looks like. It has a couple two by threes, a lot of PVC tubing, and some rope and some pulleys. But this is the heart of the system. This is what allows me to attach it to my van easily and without effort, without tools, no tools whatsoever. If you look at the design of this thing, it's got a bunch of PVC tubing, and it's got a couple pieces that I've actually cut a section out of, and I've made a rotating hinge. And that hinge will lock onto the uh, rail on top of my uh, van and lock it right into uh, a place. I was going to use uh, glue here, but I decided to uh, build a prototype just using the screws. And I was so happy with how this thing worked that I never did put the PVC glue on it and I just kept it as it was with the screws, which gives me some leeway for adjusting it. Let's see how it works. Okay, here's the car. And soon you'll see me coming by with my uh, uh, adapter here, and this will lock it to the roof. All I do is slide the open end of each side here. It takes a little finagling sometimes. Swing it down, and there we go. And that's all there is to uh, attaching the uh, ramp to the car. Next thing I have to do is uh, attach the actual ramps. And you'll see I bring it up here and I'm trying to adjust it and I'm having a tiny bit of trouble. And that's because of the design here. Uh, what I've got is a couple large uh, carriage bolts going through, but you can see they can slide back and forth. I really need a way to fasten them, maybe a little nut or something. But anyway, I finally got this one on with a little finagling. And to secure it, I have a couple wing nuts. Yeah, real good attempt at showing us the wing nuts there. Anyway, I just uh, will attach the wing nuts and screw them on. There we go. Yep, got to go get the next ramp. And here we come back with the next ramp. You'll notice if you have sharp eyes, there's a, a cleat on it. Just like uh, for a boat, a boat cleat. And I'll show you what that's about later. But you see, this one uh, went on a lot easier. The holes just lined up perfectly. You'll notice the ramps uh, actually have PVC tubing on them. I found out that the uh, kayak uh, had too much friction sliding on the bare wood. And I picked uh, 2 by 3s because 2 by 4s were heavier, more expensive, and just weren't needed. Just weren't needed. 2 by 3s worked plenty well. Screwing, up, screwing on the, uh, the nuts here. That does take a little while. There might be a faster way to do this, but the wing nuts do work. Maybe if I made the carriage bolts a little sh shorter, but being longer, I have uh, more room to adjust them. So that's how they go on. Got another look at the apparatus here and the other side. Give you a good look. Not much to this thing. Ah, here's the important part now. We got a couple uh, clips here with uh, some rope. I've got two of them and they're just tied with uh, square knots. And then I've got four pulleys and some more clips. And of course I've got a hundred feet. 50 won't do it. You need a hundred feet of cord. And uh, do not use clothesline, it's not going to work. Now, the two small pieces I attach to the uh, roof rack of the car here. I just slide it through a little loop there and uh, you can see it uh, ready to go. 
I got the rug to protect the uh, top of the car. Here's the uh, pulleys lined up with the, uh, those two shackles, two clips, whatever you want to call them. And next thing we'll see is what happens when you clip it all together and have it ready to go. There it is, attached to the car. And uh, the rope's going out to the, uh, to the lawn. And you'll see right here, these are the two uh, clips that actually will connect to the kayak. Now we have to get them across. So I attached a blue line. I just pull on the blue line here and the 100 feet of rope comes right up. Isn't that amazing? All 100 feet. Now you want to make sure these aren't tangled up on each other. You're going to have a hard time. So you make sure they're nice and straight, ready to go. Here they are, ready to clip onto the boat. Nice and straight. That's really important. Okay, well, time to get the boat. Here's the boat. And what I've done to uh, attach the boat to those uh, two clips is run a line, tie it into the boat, and tie a little uh, ring on the end of each line. You would think you could just attach the lines to the very bow and stern of the boat, but it doesn't work very well from that angle. I bring the line under the boat, and I attach the uh, ring to the uh, clip. One ring on one clip, one on the other, but then you have to attach the two clips together. It's almost like a double block. If you don't attach those two clips together, the kayak's gonna come up real cockeyed. It's not gonna work. Now you gotta make sure it's lined up straight. There we go, we line it up straight. Need a lot of room. And you see I got a PVC tube I wrapped the rope around to uh, pull it. Ready? Here we go. I should be directly in line with this, but I'm not because there's a big tree in my way as I'm backing up. But this takes about 20-25 pounds of pull. A lot better than lifting 85 pounds or more above your head. And just sliding it up the ramp in little jerks. It goes right to the top of the car. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? I think so, and it works great. I made one, I made two of these already, and I've been using them for a couple years. I've got one kayak in Florida, one in Michigan, and I use one in each place. Now, getting the kayak down is easy, and here's what's kind of neat. You leave some slack in the line, about six feet of slack in the line. You maneuver the kayak to the edge, and as it falls, there's going to be enough friction in the pulleys and in the uh, line and everything to uh, hold the kayak there. Now, if you remember, I mentioned a cleat earlier. What you can do is you can hold this kayak in place and attach different things to it, whatever you need to do with that cleat. There's the cleat. You can see it clearly. And there's a close-up. And you just wrap that line around the cleat and hold the kayak in place. I attach the foam. Uh, I attach the strap so I don't have to do that while I'm leaning over. It's just handy. So that's it. Hope you enjoy it. It was a lot of fun making it and it works great.